Hey guys, this is your community manager Monster, bringing you another quick video on emotion effects in Lumberyard 1.11. Today we're covering how to import a character and assign animations to it. And so before we continue with this process, here's a quick overview of the Lumberyard environment in this video. We're currently running Lumberyard Beta 1.11.1.0 and have configured our default project to Samples Project. Also, before you continue with this video, definitely check out our previous video on how to launch emotion effects into Lumberyard 1.11. This is highly recommended for users who are launching Lumbyard and cannot find or access the animation editor under the tools menu. Note that this should be turned on by default in Lumbyard 1.11.1.0. And so the TLDR version for this topic is that Emotion Effects is actually a gem. So again, if you're having issues finding the animation editor under tools menu, go ahead and enable the Emotion Effects animation gem in your project configurator. Don't forget to run the configure command and also rebuild your game code. Cool, so let's jump into this video. So let's start off by going to Tools and Animation Editor. This will open up the Emotion Effects Animation Editor. Great. So to move forward, we got to import a character. And I'm going to be targeting the uh, Jack character that you find featured in the Star Game updates. Go to File, Open Actor. And under Game, Animation Samples, Simple Jack Locomotion, there is a Jack Bind underscore Z up file. OK. And now we have our Jack character in. Alrighty, so next up we've got to create a motion set. To create motion sets, you can go over to the motion sets tab right here, click on it, go to the very top where it says motion set management, click on the green plus button, and now you have a motion set. If you wish to rename this, you can definitely right click on the motion set and click on rename selected motion set. But I'm totally fine with this, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Go ahead and make sure it's selected. And then let's go to the motion set window. In the motion set window, we can find the open folder icon right here. This basically allows us to select the animation files that we want to work with in this specific motion set. So I'm going to start off by selecting Jack Idle Z up and then control clicking on Jack Strafe Run Forwards Z up and Jack Strafe Walk Forwards Z up. Click OK. And now we have our animations in the motion set. Great, that's pretty much it for that. Next up is creating an animation graph so we can hook up all these motions to our character. We can do this by going to the resource management window right here, clicking on the green plus button, and now we have a new animation graph. The file name says not saved yet, so let's go ahead and save this immediately. I'm going to click on this blue floppy disk with a question mark icon. And for this video, I'll go right into animation samples. I'm going to call this and create a new folder, call this demo. And then inside of demo, I will create a animation anim graph. Oh, one. Hit save. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and create our animation network. And you can do this in the animation graph. And to get to the animation graph, you just go to the anim graph tab right here. This will give us a empty uh, canvas to work with. And so yeah, let's start off with the idle animation for our Jack character. It can do this with a motion node. And a motion node is going to reference the unique string in your motion sets. So you can start off by going here, right clicking, create node, sources, and then motion. Click on motion. And since we know that we're starting off with an idle animation, let's go ahead and go to the attributes window under node name. Select this and rename it to idle. Once you've done that, go to motion, select motions, and then reference the jack underscore idle underscore z up file or motion. Click OK. And you should start seeing jack uh, do its idle pose. Oh, we should probably double click on the animation graph and the resource management right here. There we go. All right, so next I'm going to create a blend tree node. And a blend tree node is just going to host our blended animations for Jack, which is the walking and running animations. Go ahead and do that in the animation graph by right clicking on the canvas, create node, sources, and blend tree. Let's go ahead and create some transition lines between the two nodes so we can transition between the animations. Go right up to the idle node right here and right up to the edge. Click, hold, drag out a line and connect it to blend tree. 
like that. And we want to do the same thing from blend tree to idle so that we can blend from walking and running to idle and idle can blend from idle to walking or running based on the input value. And now in order for us to test this input value and how the animation the blending, we need to set up a parameter. And we can do that with parameters right here. Go ahead and click on the add new button or the green plus button and change the parameter name to speed. Go ahead and create that with the default settings. And that's pretty much it for this slider. Now we have uh, a test value or input value that would mimic the character's uh, movement speed. Alrighty guys, so we've gotten this far with importing our character, setting up our environment, and assigning our first animation to the character. Join me in the next video where we continue this journey in setting up our motion transitions and motion blending. Basically, we're just going to make sure that all the things that we just set up work well together, and of course, adding the run and walk animations. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to throw down your thoughts in the comment section below, and of course, hitting those like and subscribe buttons. See you in the next video, and cheers! And then with that, I'm going to go ahead and look for Jack Idle, uh, and then Z up. Oh boy, this is, what is, what is going on? Why can't I see? Jack, where are you? Jack, Jack! Buddy, what happened? What happened? Wireframe? No wireframe? What? Open, open, Hector. Jump up. Jack, where are you? Where did you go? That's not a real song, and I'm gonna keep missing you. All right, I, I'm, I'm just gonna figure this out. Hold on, hold on.